We begin with the widening conversation about sexual harassment in this country and a major new development tonight. From politics to media and this evening a veteran broadcaster under the microscope as President Trump remains silent on Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. The president was asked again today but no comment. This after taking aim at Democrat Al Franken. But no word on Moore accused of preying on teenage girls and how the White House responds when asked why. And it comes as CBS News tonight suspends Charlie Rose amid a new report, eight women now accusing him. We begin with ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega. It has been 11 days since Roy Moore was first hit with accusations of sexual misconduct with teenagers, but still no word from President Trump. So today we asked again. Your thoughts on Roy Moore, Mr. President? Do you believe his accusers? Do you believe Roy Moore's accusers, Mr. President? Thank you very much. Until now, the line from the White House, Alabama voters will decide. But today, senior counselor Kellyanne Conway went beyond that, bashing the Democrat in the race while offering what sounded like a Roy Moore endorsement. He's strong on raising your taxes. He's terrible for property owners. So and Doug Roy Jones Moore? is a doctrinaire liberal, which is why he's not saying anything and why the media are right. trying to boost him. So vote Roy Moore? I'm telling you that we want the votes in, in, the, in the Senate to get this tax, this tax bill through. Is that the position of this White House, that voters are better off voting for someone accused of assaulting teenage girls than a Democrat? The position of the White House hasn't changed. We feel like the people of Alabama should make the determination on who their next senator should but be. But she made a clear suggestion over who they should vote and for. And I'm telling, I'm giving you the answer to the position of the White House. Moore has repeatedly denied the accusations of sexual assault and misconduct, allegations by eight women, some of whom were teenagers at the time. Lee Korfman tells NBC News she was 14 when Moore assaulted her nearly 40 years ago. He basically laid out some blankets on the floor of his living room and proceeded to um, seduce me. But I was a 14 year old child trying to play in an adult's world and he was 32 years old. Rather than weigh in on the scandal, President Trump spent the weekend tweeting about everyone from Hillary Clinton to Arizona Senator Jeff Flake over this hot mic moment. Come the party of Roy Moore and Donald Trump. We are the post. The president tweeted, Flake was caught, quote, saying bad things about your favorite president, adding his political career anyway is toast. So let's get live to Cecilia Vega at the White House tonight. And Cecilia, President Trump had tweeted about Senator Al Franken, and tonight another woman is now accusing Senator Franken of inappropriate behavior. David, 33-year-old Lindsay Mentz, that is her name. Take a look at this photo. She tells CNN that Franken grabbed her backside while they were posing for this picture, picture back in 2010. He was a sitting senator at the time. In a statement tonight, Franken says, quote, I take thousands of photos at the state fair surrounded by hundreds of people, and I certainly don't remember taking this picture. I feel badly that Ms. Mentz came away from our interaction feeling disrespected. Tonight, David, a spokesperson for Al Franken, says he does not plan to resign in the wake of this second accusation. Cecilia Vega leading us off tonight.